Okay, so here we are today. We're going to create the drill block for activity 7.2 to learn how to do section views. Uh, the first thing we've got to do is draw this drill block that's pictured here in Project Lead the Way. Uh, if we look at this drawing, it basically is a drawing with four holes in it, and the block is five inches wide by two inches tall by three inches deep. So what I did is in Inventor, I went ahead and created that cube for us. Now what we need to do is look at creating the points for these holes. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create all these points in one sketch. If we look at those points, they are one inch up, they're on the midpoint, and then we'll deal with where they're located at here in a second. So if we come back over here to my inventor part, what I'm going to do is create a new sketch right here on this face. And what I like to do, since all those points are horizontally aligned, I like to use some geometry here and align and then make it a construction line. And since it's one inch up, I know that that's the midpoint because this is two inches tall. So I'll grab the midpoint with a green dot there. And I'll come over here on this side and I'll also grab the midpoint there with the green dot. And that'll create that line and make that line fully constrained. Now I can add in four points and I'll just randomly throw these four points out so that they're coincidence constrained on the line and now we can come back and right click and do general dimensions. So we come over here and we look at the dimensions for these four holes. The first hole is 0.75, the next hole is one inch from that hole, then 1.25 and 1.25. So when we come over here I'll just add those dimensions on, click and click and edit my dimensions and I'll start to add my 3 quarter inch, my 1 inch, and my 1.25 inch dimensions here to create those dimensions. So now I have a fully constrained sketch. So I can go ahead and finish that sketch because it's fully constrained and we don't want to have any bad sloppy cat. Now I want to make smart holes, not dumb holes, because it will make my dimensioning easier later on and makes my options easier. So to make smart holes, remember we use the hole command. So I'll click on the hole command. You notice the first thing that happens here is it selects all the holes. Well, if we look at our drawing, all of these holes are actually different. So I can't create, I have to create each one of these holes separately with the hole command, but all of my center points are selected. So while the centers button is clicked down, we will hold the control key and we will deselect the center points for the other holes so that all I'm doing is creating the one hole. And so I'll change this back so that this looks like what your screen probably looks like. And what we have here is our hole window. Okay, So this is what yours probably came up like. And if I come over here, this first hole, half inch diameter hole, two inches deep, so it's a blind hole with a counter bore that's 0.75 in diameter and a half inch deep. So we come back over to Inventor and I start to look. I'm on normal drilled hole. Then I also have the option to create a counter bore hole, a spot face hole, and a counter sunk hole. So I'm going to choose counter bore holes because that's what we're trying to create. Uh, 0.75 is the diameter of the counter bore. You'll notice mine's already popping up because I've done this part once already. Half inch deep half inch diameter hole. I do not have a depth because I'm currently on termination of through all so I have to change that to a distance because I want a blind hole of two inches deep so that uh, with through all it's just a through hole you need no depth but when you change it to distance then you can use that to create a blind hole. And I can go ahead and click OK and you'll see it creates my hole and I have a flat bottom counter bore without going all the way through. I look at the back of the part and there it is. Okay, now I need to create another hole, but if I click on the hole command, well, it will come up with that. Uh, what I would prefer to do, though, is use the center points from the sketch, but it won't give me that option. Currently, sketch 6 is consumed inside of hole 9, so if I expand hole 9 out and I come to sketch 6, I can right-click on that sketch share that sketch. What that will do is allow us to use that sketch in multiple features. I typically don't do this and don't like this as a general practice. I think it's kind of 
bad sloppy CAD to some extent. I like to put just the features that I'm going to use in my sketch with that feature. However, in this case where I need all those points horizontally aligned, it does save me time to create my part this way. And so I, I will um, look at this as, as the right practice to go about. So now we select the whole command again. And when we come up, you notice it selected my other three holes. So again, I hold the control key and I press the other, I click the other two centers so that it goes away. Now when we come over here to my drawing and I look at the second hole, that is a half inch diameter through hole with a countersink of one inch diameter and 82 degrees. So back in Inventor, you notice I am in counter bore option. I have the option for a countersunk hole. So I'll make it a countersunk hole. I'll make my top surface diameter the one inch that's supposed to be. 82 degrees of the standard counter bore, so it'll probably pop up with that. Depth, I'm a through hole, so I will change my termination to through all so that it goes all the way through and I don't have to put in a depth. And then my center hole was still a half inch center hole. So I'll go ahead and leave that and I can go ahead and press OK. There's my countersunk hole. My next hole, just click the hole command again. Again, it's going to select all of them. So hold the control key, deselect your last hole. When we look at the drill block, this last hole is a half inch diameter hole through with tolerance plus or minus two thousandths. We're not going to worry about the tolerance right now. The tolerance is something that you put in during your dimensioning, not during your actual creation of the part. So we just need to put a half inch diameter through hole through the part. So we're in the hole command, we have that point selected, we change this to a standard drilled hole through all, half inch diameter, and click OK. And that's all it takes to create that particular hole. And our last hole, now when we click the hole command, it's going to pick up, select our last hole, and there it is. So now with this last hole, what we do is we're creating a half quarter inch diameter hole this time one inch deep with a three-eighths counter bore that's a quarter of an inch deep. So you can come back and look at these measurements to, to throw them in, but I'll select counter bore hole again. I have a three-eighths diameter, 0.375, that is a quarter inch deep with a quarter inch hole, and that is a distance of one inch. And I'll just come over here and verify that I got those measurements right. Quarter inch hole, one inch deep, three eighths counter bore, quarter inch deep. So that is correct what we've got there. I'm going to click OK and we've created that third hole. Now I don't like to leave sketches showing that I'm not using anymore. Typically when you consume a sketch inside of a feature it will turn its visibility off since we shared this one it automatically turns the visibility on and leaves it there. So to get rid of this sketch, we just come over into the browser window, right click, visibility, turn it off, and you'll notice over here that the sketch goes away. And that is all there is to creating your drawing.